A song for the missing. In this garage on the outskirts of Mexico City, people have come to remember federal police officer Luis Angel Leon and others who went missing five years ago. They disappeared on a mission in Michoacan, a lawless state in western Mexico. Thought to have been killed by a drug gang, their bodies have never been found. Investigators told Luis's mother they're not magicians and not to expect much. So she started searching on her own. No es que queramos cambiar a ser detectives de amas de casa. Las circunstancias nos van llevando por encontrar la verdad histórica de qué pasó. Y nos vamos dando cuenta que realmente empezamos a aprender a hacer lo que el gobierno no hace, ¿no? She was shocked by the investigators' behavior. Que hay una total ineptitud, una gran corrupción y una sombra de poder dentro de la institución. Perhaps that's why so few of Mexico's missing have been found. An estimated 30,000 people have gone missing in the drug war since 2006. More than 90% of crimes go unpunished in Mexico. Investigators usually don't even find bones of the missing. At protests, people carry pictures of loved ones they hope are alive. The truth is, they'll probably never see them again. Mexico's missing have long seemed far removed from the capital, but the case of the 43 students who went missing when they were out raising funds to attend a political protest has focused the nation's anger on its leaders like no other case before. Rodriguez has found strength among others who've lost someone they love. She joined this group of families of the missing. Their goal isn't to mourn, but to find clues about their loved one's disappearance. Forense es búsqueda. Es ver las evidencias. ¿Dónde están? ¿Por qué están? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cuándo pasó? Entonces yo los incité a los ministerios públicos a que en unos frasquitos de café que yo misma llevaba, ahí echaran tierra. Unos frascos que yo había desinfectado con alcohol y con agua hirviendo. Esta tierra podría tener una evidencia ¿no? de si mi hijo estuvo o no aquí. A lo mejor tiene una partícula de sangre, una partícula de un huesito, algo, ¿no? With the help of two young Mexican academics based in the UK, they've now launched citizen-led forensics, an independent web database for DNA samples and evidence collected by families of the missing themselves. Pongamos a los familiares de los desaparecidos al centro de la ciencia forense. Free from police interference, the data will be stored abroad to keep it safe. Por demasiado tiempo, los familiares de los Their mission, to fill the gap left by authorities. Their reasoning, victims' families are more motivated to find the truth. This is our website. You just get into www.citizenletforensics.net. You will scroll down and find at the bottom the registry. And then you can kind of collect your information and access your information from there using your special password. You will be the only owner of your information. Ernesto Nareli founded Citizen-Led Forensics with support from Durham University, where they're based in England. They've spent years abroad studying criminology and forensics. We want to fight corruption and impunity in Mexico. So we thought about how we could make something that was resistant to the attacks of kind of organized crime, the state. Basically, the idea to put the citizens at the center of this forensic science to break the monopoly of the state to produce truth. And uh, by doing this, we're changing the rules of the game. We are not just bringing the experts from outside, from international experts, but rather kind of uh, putting together all these families. And now they have become experts in their searches. So we are putting them together in order to create a strongest forensic science system that is reliable and that have at the center the people who are more interested in finding a loved one. Ernesto Narelli see this as a pivotal time for Mexico. There has never been greater attention on the missing. This is Fernando Osegueda. His father, another member of the group, has been searching for him since men dressed as police kidnapped him in 2007. <laughs> Based on his own experience, Fernando investigated other cases, 
He helped find the ranch where El Posalero, or the notorious criminal known as the stew maker, dissolved more than 300 bodies in acid. While the government races to try to identify remains of the 43 students, the identity of the other bodies unearthed in the search is not a priority. So citizen-led forensics spearheaded an initiative to offer DNA testing to families in Guerrero State who've been searching sometimes for years for their loved ones. Eliana Garcia heads the Attorney General's Human Rights Office. Los expertos internacionales no están errados cuando dicen que el sistema forense mexicano es un sistema débil. Ahora, asumiéndolo, nosotros estamos trabajando para fortalecerlo. Is the reason that this group has been founded mean that the Attorney General's office and authorities in Mexico aren't doing their job? Es legítimo que las familias consideren que nosotros no estamos haciendo nuestro trabajo, aunque estemos haciendo muchas cosas para un familiar de persona desaparecida, absolutamente nada es suficiente, porque lo único que para ellos es importante es que les podamos decir Ya sabemos dónde está tu ser querido. Recently, members from the citizen group and vigilante community police found 10 more graves in the area where the students went missing. That's in addition to the 100 vigilantes say they have already found. There was no one there from the government. After finding bones, the group left a flag for investigators. Yo pensé que iba a estar la PGR para ir a sumar. ¿sí? ¿De qué sirve que me tomen la muestra de ADN si el hueso de mi hermano está allá arriba? Es una persona, no es un perro. El monopolio de, de esos restos los tiene el Estado. Lo importante aquí es que ya los ciudadanos, si se fijaron, ya están perdiendo el miedo. Y las familias ya están unidas y están yendo con nosotros. La ciudadanía está despertando. Hay, hay cosas... Citizen-led forensics is also involved in the case of the first independent exhumation in Mexico. They're working with a Peruvian forensic team to conduct DNA tests on the alleged remains of Brenda de Maris, a young woman missing since 2011. Because of discrepancies in the evidence, Brenda's family suspects authorities gave them someone else's body. DNA tests on remains suspected to be the 43 students are expected soon. But for most of Mexico's missing, there's little clarity. So what's going to happen about all these other bodies? They, they are going to go back to the mass grave without an identity? Ernesto is convinced it's Mexicans themselves who have to lead the way. There's something schizophrenic about this idea that the state commits a crime and then you demand the state to bring you truth and put all the experts, and that hasn't worked in our history, so we need to think of new ways to approach this problem. In that search for a new way, Ernesto and Areli are also launching a campaign on the airwaves. The song's constant refrain, I will find you. This is a question of basic human dignity. We are born with a name and we deserve it doesn't matter who we are, we deserve to go to the grave with a name. Areli and Ernesto hope they can help their country find its footing after so many years on a violent path. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.